Paul Weyrich is the conscience of American conservatism. For three or four decades, Paul Weyrich has been the moral compass that points to conservative ideals. He's been a great role model and a great mentor for a whole generation of, of men and women on Capitol Hill and around the country. In fact, if you look in, in the Congress, in the U.S. House of Representatives, the United States Senate, you'd find senators and House members and staffers and men and women who are governors and working in public policy institutes, who are journalists, who, whose conservative ideals were really awakened and sharpened because of Paul Weyrich. Paul Weyrich is a great example of a man who uh, tells the truth, talks straight in a town which is full of people who talk out of both sides of their mouth. If we were going to compile a list of the 10 most important conservative leaders of the 20th century or the 21st century, Paul would certainly be on the list and right up at the top. It is fair to say he has been the conservative movement's indispensable man, Paul Weyrich. Conservatives, man for all seasons. I'm really honored to get to say a few words for Paul Warwick. He's a member of our director, our chairman, or president of 26 ultra conservative organizations or entities. He's on talk shows. His wife Joyce and their five children are conservative emissaries all over this nation and into some foreign countries working for conservatism. Uh, he's the founder of the Heritage, Heritage Foundation, and that's giant. That's, that's enough right there to nominate and select him for a Pulitzer Prize. He's a leader in all of these things, but when Paul's not leading, he's making a better leader of whoever is leading. I just think Paul is just a, simply a very, very great guy, one of the finest, most conservative, uh, most caring persons I've ever known or worked with. He's a fine guy. I have high regard for him. Honored to say a few words for him. God bless you, Paul Weyrich. It's an honor to join in the celebration of the career of Paul Weyrich. Why is a bow tie wearing, bike riding, left coast liberal Democrat adding his voice in honor of this icon of the conservative movement? It's simple. Paul is a rarity in Washington, D.C. He sticks to his principles, honors his country, not a party or a rigid mindset. I admire his intellect, his integrity, and his courage. If more people had Paul's courage to share their vision, principles, and passion, and because he did share his vision, principles, and passion with us, we are better people. Paul, this is Senator Jim DeMent. You've been a rock in the conservative movement for an entire generation. Your advocacy of free enterprise economic principles and family values have helped to keep America strong and free. I personally want to thank you for your years of holding the coalition meetings that have helped to inform and energize groups all over the country. That's giving us the citizen power that we need to reshape the Republican Party and to reclaim our government. After Barry Goldwater's big defeat in 1964, conservatives were wandering around lost in the liberal wilderness. And then Paul Weyrich came to Washington. He transformed the lost conservatives into a movement that has become a mighty force. He really invented the conservative movement. We've enjoyed Paul's wise counsel all these years. He kept us on the right track, always going forward. Thank you, Paul, for your years of reliable and persevering leadership. We love you. I'm Jerry Farwell, Jr., President and Chancellor of Liberty University, now the world's largest evangelical Christian university and Virginia's largest private university. I want to talk a little bit about how much our family respects and admires Paul Weyrich for his years of service and dedication to the conservative movement. Liberty University is now producing hundreds and hundreds of political and business leaders, largely because of the influence of people like Paul Weyrich and Paul, we appreciate you greatly. My father admired you greatly right up to the day he died. You were instrumental in convincing him to start the Moral Majority and to organize thousands of pastors into what became the religious right. And only eternity will tell the impact that you've had on our country and on the young people of this nation. Paul Weyrich's influence goes far beyond simply that of a conservative leader. He's a man that's demonstrated uh, that uh, to follow Christ um, 
and to, and to serve and to contend in the public square are not mutually exclusive. Uh, he's always maintained both um, a strength of conviction and also a decency and a civility that give a consistent testimony to his faith in Christ. Paul, I owe you a debt I can never really repay. Um, it's a debt of gratitude and a debt of honor that I owe uh, to a very small handful of men and women who've come alongside in my life and encouraged me uh, to stand on the foundation of my faith, to stand up for conservative values, uh, and, to, and to pursue those with, with conviction uh, and with, with an eye on the long view. Um, you've always been there. Uh, you've been uh, a mentor to me. You've been a friend. Uh, and I will forever uh, be in your debt. In a word, I want to be like Paul Weirich when I grow up. Uh, thank you all. Paul, it's an honor to speak on your behalf tonight. And God bless you. It's been my privilege to work with Paul Weirich on many issues of common concern about our nation, values that confront our nation, issues that confront our nation, crises that confront America. And whenever I hear the phrase, the courage of their convictions, I think of Paul Weirich. Paul Weirich is someone you can always count on. When he gives you his word, he keeps it. That's a rare thing in Washington, D.C. I've come to admire and respect Paul, to be uh, inspired by his courage, by the fact that he never flinches, even when the odds are against him. It's been a privilege to work with him over these years. And Paul, you've impacted me. You've impacted me by the way you have been so tireless and fearless in your defense of the truth, the things that we care about, the things that we are willing to shed blood over, our own blood. Paul, thank you for having the courage of your convictions, for being an inspiration to so many of us over these years. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for being the friend of freedom and the friend of the unborn. God bless you. I'm very pleased to be here tonight and join in the salute to Paul Weirich. There's no one who has been more dedicated to advancing the cause of conservatism in this country than Paul. His organizational skills in founding groups, including the Heritage Foundation, the Free Congress Foundation, and being a leader in others, such as the Council for National Policy, have all been a part of his major contribution to the movement. Paul, we are grateful to you for all you've done for the conservative movement and for our country, and we hope that you'll keep up providing that leadership for many, many years to come. Before we, before we watch the final segment of our video, 21 Gun Salute tribute to Paul Weirich, I want to take just a moment and introduce Joyce Weirich, to whom Paul has been married for, she thinks, 45 years. And mother of five, Joyce Weirich, please stand so we can recognize you. It's been a great last two weeks for mothers of five, hasn't it? <laughs> Don't you just love it when the liberals get in such a twist? <laughs> I have to say today, um, Heather Higgins, Heather is here from New York. Heather was on the Diane Ream show. Mm. Um, and it was Heather Higgins, one of the most uh, articulate conservative women in America, versus seven liberal journalists. I think that ratio was just about right. <laughs> but it was great fun to listen to Heather tell these uh, journalists, all of who said, we're just doing our job. And as Heather rattled off one after another of the gross misstatements that they've made about Sarah Palin in the last two weeks, 
and um, particularly how the New York Times had to issue a retraction when one of the other guests was the managing editor of the New York Times. <laughs> so, um, but we are all excited about Sarah Palin being on the ticket and it's the kind of thing that wouldn't have happened without people like Paul Weyrich. <laughs> And it just goes to show that when conservatives are fired up, we win. So at this point, I will introduce the last, the last of our video segment tributes to Paul Weyrich. Please watch. <laughs> 